Welcome back. This is Kelly with the Plant Based Kitchen. So, we talked about that you're looking for tips and tricks. So, guess what we're focusing on today? The artichokes. So, artichokes are absolutely wonderful. These are things that you see in the restaurants and they charge a lot of money for, and they have all kinds of special sauces and they're drizzled in butter and all kinds of oils and all kinds of different things, Parmesan cheese, which is not necessarily what we're looking for on a plant based lifestyle. But you can still enjoy artichokes and have a really good time with these. So, how to prepare them? So, you get the artichokes. And you, they come usually and they've got the stem and then they've got all the different leaves and things around them. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut off the stem just like that. Makes it nice and neat and easy like that. Then you're going to cut off the top one third of the artichoke. Put a lot of pressure into it. Okay, just throw that in there. One tip too, to how do you know, because the question is going to be, how do you know that these are fresh? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take one of the leaves and when you're in the store you're going to rub it and if it feels like it's, it starts kind of like a squeaky sound or it feels like it's squeaky then that is, means it's fresh and it means it's good to go and good to eat. If it's kind of more dry and it really doesn't give you a nice squeaky sound, um, and be careful because when the water's on it, it's going to squeak no matter what. But when it doesn't feel squeaky or it doesn't feel kind of moist, then you want to make sure you leave that back at the store. So you've got the one third cut off. So let's just say if you like, if you don't, if you like the little tips on these, because sometimes there's little spiny tips on those. If those bother you, all you need to do is just get a pair of your kitchen shears and you just go through and cut them off. So let's just say you want to cut those off on the top like that. I'm not going to cut them all off because those don't bother me. Then if you've got that, that is actually ready to go. So you can either microwave it. So if you're going to microwave it, you get your you get your handy plastic wrap just like this. Pull off a sheet, wrap it up like that, put it in the microwave, put it on high for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then when you can actually, when you take it out and your knife will go through the core down here and just stick in there and it just slides right through, that means it's ready to go. Pull it out, dip it in lemon juice, dip it in some like some vegan mayonnaise, some lemon juice, maybe um, add some other kind of spices, whatever you want to do, you can do that. So that's how you can quickly do an artichoke, especially when it's you know winter time and you just want something really quick. And these are fun too because they take quite a bit, quite a while to eat. So it's one of those things too if you're if you're hungry but you're also have kind of the munchies. These are a great thing to have around. So if you don't want to use the microwave, and I know that there's some that, that don't like to use the microwave at all, then you can also use the pressure cooker, or you can use a steamer, whatever you'd like to do. So you get your steaming basket, you put in about an inch of water in the bottom. Not enough where it covers the steaming basket, but just enough on the bottom, because when you do any type of steaming in a pressure cooker, you always want to make sure you have some water. So you just put this in there, spread it out. It sets really, it's really nice. This is nice because it has these little uh, feet on them, so this just sets really nicely there. And then you're going to put it with, the, with basically the top or the head up and the core on the bottom. You're going to put it into your basket, and then you're going to put it on um, high pressure for about 10 minutes, and then you're going to have these wonderful artichokes. So seven minutes for small artichokes and then 10 minutes for large artichokes. The good thing is, is if I put this in the basket right now, and you can see it, um, I could probably get four, maybe four large ones or maybe six small ones. So if you wanted to keep them around a little bit, you could always just repop them back into the microwave, even though you've maybe only eaten two of them, and then just warm them up and then you've got them again. Make lots of extra sauce ahead of time. So let's say you want to stuff them. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to pull the leaves. So the leaves are almost, you just kind of just start stretching them like this. Get them all stretched out. And what you're going to want to do, and it's a lot of stretching, is you've got this little, the spine, what they call it is like the spiny core in the middle of it. So you're going to grab that. Oh, I just broke it. But stretch it enough. And we'll just use the side piece. So stretch it enough where you actually get the middle part there. And then you're going to take your spoon, and you're doing this, and you're going to scrape out that middle. So what you end up getting, pull a little bit of this out for you. This is probably a better piece to show. So what you're going to see in the middle is you've got these little, it's almost like a soft, I don't know, kind of like a, um, like little, little hairs and stuff. So you're going to want to make sure that you get your spoon in there when you've got it, and you just basically just kind of dig it out a little bit. And the reason why you do that is because otherwise, if you put if you put all kinds of different stuffing in it, the little spiny um, little or little uh, kind of like little hair pieces and stuff will get in there. So you want it as clean as possible. So let's just say that I did that, and it was all you know all put together, and this got broke. 
what you can do is just basically put it all back together, leave your inner core like that. Arch up is very forgiving. And then you can stuff it. So you can put like quinoa, all kinds of different stuffing, brown rice, all kinds of really good things in there. Put it in your steamer, put it in your microwave, and you're ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this tip. We'll talk to you soon and see you at the next, next tip and trick. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.